You are listening to the Yeah, I Said It podcast with Humvee, Ilran, and DJ, the DJ. I remember asking you a goddamn thing. Yeah, I said it. Run the king, shit, got a head beat for grand brother, be thrown in a Humvee. Have something you want to say? Drop us a line at 601-641-9474. Yeah. (laughs) Back at it like a crack addict. Yeah. What's going on? It's your main man, Humvee. It's your boy, Il Ren. And it's DJ, the DJ. What up, though? What episode is this, yo? Episode a lot. I think it's 20. Is it 20? I think, yeah, I think we 20 deep. Okay. Yeah. 20 deep. We made it thus far. 2016, going down. Yeah, man, I done put my notes to the side. I don't even know what episode. I don't know what's going on. My show notes done disappeared on me. Yeah, but I, I like I like your new slogan. Back at it like a crack at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, we can roll with that. Oh man, this uh, let's go ahead and do this, man, because this drink is uh, phenomenal. Yes, it is. You know. Go ahead and uh, I gotta make sure I get the name right. <laughs> All right. Uh, this show is being covered by Ultra Premium Select Club Pecan Praline Whiskey. <laughs> and this is phenomenal. <laughs> DJ over there trying to like not to smack. <laughs> hey, it's, it's good. Like, if you ain't never had it, you may want to try it. Yeah. Yeah, this for real, man. I, I'm a, man. The rundown of, of it all. I was out, me and my wife out doing an anniversary thing, and we, we go by specs because that's where we go for every occasion. Cheesy. <laughs> and we went. We were trying to find something different, man. But we didn't want to buy no BS and spend a bunch of money on something and it's something and it, and it don't taste good. Because she did that a couple of weeks ago. She bought this. Uh, Angels Wings or Angels Envy, I think is what it's called. Okay. Has some live reviews and everything, so she went and copped that. Was drinking it and was like, you know, I don't like this. Uh-oh. So we we bypassed that. Don't buy that unless like, that's your thing. I don't know. I don't, don't let me get to. It. Well, anyway, don't even know what it so is. So we in the line, man. We getting ready to get up out of there, and uh, she sees this little. You know how they had those little shot bottles, right? Right by the register. Right. So she sees this little select club, and she grabs two of them right before we go. So I'm like, cool, we go ahead and grab that thing, man. We go to the truck. She popped a cap on it before I get the truck started. She said, man, you're going to like this. I wasn't even sitting all the way in the seat yet. <laughs> she handed it to me, man. I took a sip. Back in the store. <laughs> wow. Let's get it. Yeah. Ain't no point in turning this truck on yet. We ain't got what we came for yet. <laughs> well, definitely, man. This, this drink is lit, real nice. <laughs> man, it's all the way live. I'm loving it already. Yeah. All right, man. Um, my arm is still kind of itchy. Uh, I got into a car wreck. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's my truck. My baby's gone. My baby is gone. They totaled it out. And I was like, what? So anyway, I'm driving down the street, just getting off work, about to uh, get on the on-ramp to get on the freeway. Lady uh, went through a stop sign, went through a stop sign, uh, smashed on the brakes, ended up cutting the, <laughs> yeah, cutting the wheel and hitting her uh, driver's side. Pow, airbag popped out bust my arm up my forearm and all this stuff um she gets out the car it's an older lady like a it's like a senior citizen she gets out the car super old yeah i was like oh man she done got out the car i stayed in the car I was like, uh, uh, waiting on the, <laughs> you know playing the role she get out the car she opens the uh the back door it's a four-door mm-hmm. car she was in three little kids come out 
And I was mm. like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. Let me see what's going on. Let me check the scene. And I took pictures of the car and um, uh, the impact. I didn't know that it was going to make the, I heard the pop when I hit her. And then I didn't know, I didn't even think that the airbags would pop out, but they popped out and um, stung my arm. I didn't even feel it until later on. And um, luckily everybody was all right. Old blind side Michael Orr joint. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody was all right. Uh, that she, was minority impersonation. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, um, you know, everybody made it through, man. Um, it was her fault. Uh, my insurance company is taking forever. Her insurance company was on the ball. So um, hopefully we can get this done because I'm tired of riding in this Ford Focus. <laughs> so if you see me in a red Ford Focus, just blow your horn and say, hey, that's on me. Yeah, that's me. Now, the funny thing about that, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Yeah, buddy. What's the funny thing about that, man? It's not funny. Oh, it's funny. It's funny, yeah, dog. Lost my truck, It's, it's going to be funny for anybody who knows you and thinks about you riding in that. <laughs> that riding that focus. focus. <laughs> they ain't have a smart car? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have yeah. one. Man, I'm sitting there looking. I'm trying, trying to get these mics right. It seemed like we came in low. I think I, I might have might have had a little bit of a folly with my mic. So y'all bear with us out there in, in the podcast world. If it ain't good in the beginning, it'll be greater later. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. My mic sounds nice. Mine sounds great too. And this become Praline Whiskey, uh, Ultra Select Club is what it's called. Select Club, yeah. Select Club, hey man, they live for that one. Yeah, buddy. Cause you can't stop sipping it. Yeah. <laughs> I will be making a stop by uh, Specs tomorrow. So DJ, what you had going on? Oh man, just came off a really great week. Um, man, my, my daughter had been gone for the longest. She had been gone for, an, I think she stayed an additional three weeks. She just made it back. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, daddy missed his baby, so I was glad to see her come home this past Monday. Uh, and along with my father-in-law, if I haven't said it before, I said, now nah, I have the best in-laws in the world. Like it's not even enough a question of debate. I absolutely love them. They they always there for you, but they're not in your business, and they're just great people. That's what I'm so I enjoy having my own personal relationship with my father-in-law, and we had a great time. So I got to uh, chill and show for him around while he was here. That's cool. I don't have a father-in-law. Yeah. And we, we went to K1 Speed, which is an indoor. Uh, oh, I've been wanting to go yeah. there. Yeah. On, a go, on, on a go kart? Yeah, go That's kart. On, uh, track. Highway 3, right? No, off of 290. Okay. Yeah, and it was cool, man. We went in there and uh, I did real bad the first time. You swore I didn't know how to drive. But then I got progressively better. So uh, yeah, we was out there doing our thing. We had fun with the kids. My niece came over and she's been at the house. Boss is wonderful. Just in case you're wondering, and uh, I tell you what's cool, man. Most people um, see dogs and they think a certain thing. It's cool to have open-minded people around. Like my father-in-law said when he met Boss, he was like, "Oh man, it's a good dog. Got a great temperament." He said, "If you would have told me that you were getting a pit bull, I would have told you not to do it." He said, "But having pit bulls get a bad rep, man. I don't know right. what. Well, I know what it is. Yeah." And that's what he was saying. He was like, okay, so I understand why people say these dogs just get a bad rep because he was enjoying them. He had a good time with them. It was cool for him to get that experience because he looked at dogs through the lens that of the um, the conversation that he was born into where these are bad dogs and you know they're vicious and they're mean. Like, no, dogs are whatever you breed them to be. And so he got to see that he's real even kill, likes to play, likes kids i mean hey hey it's my dog and i love him so i'm not gonna go in any more about boss but we Unless did have a dog good time. people out there want to hear him <clears throat> go on a 30 minute rant about his dog <laughs> 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 cat people too huh? <laughs> yeah man, so that, that was cool uh having my father-in-law time i just took him back to the uh airport before i came here and so sad to see him go but he'll be back soon. Actually, what's cool, man, is he just retired. 
and uh okay he has a list of things that he wants to do and he's he's marking things off his list so See, that's what we all him. that's the goal for everybody everybody wants to get to that age where create a bucket list you can you you don't have to do anything right but you get to do what you want to do mm-hmm. that's the goal in life right there right definitely and that's what he is he actually said he had he brought a a, a big paper calendar from work so he could put it on his desk so he can know what day of the week it was because he's he gonna do whatever the hell he want to do and he's living his life and i'm loving it for him what, what's on your bucket list dj uh well serena williams on my fucking list but that's that's a different list <laughs> that's a different list <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't beat me up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's the difference. Uh, but on my on my on my bucket list is to go to Dubai and not have money be an object for that. However long I'm there, money I just want to. Yeah, I just want to do it up while I'm in Dubai. Another <clears> thing that's on my bucket list is to see Africa my way. Sounds um, good. I, yeah, I I don't want to be uh, super touristy. I actually like I love history, mm-hmm. so to go through Africa and meet that's the why native I people. Be touristy. And uh, you want to do what? I mean, that's why I would want to be touristy, you know, so I can learn about the history. Oh yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, touristy like you know, standing walks. around, look well, at see, shit, take pictures, th- here's and the leave. Thing. I don't know a whole lot about Africa, right? As far okay. as like the real, but that is on my bucket list as well. And I would like to go, but I don't want any surprises when I do go. He did that. That was what so inappropriate. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was my African brothers and sisters. Ah, oh, no, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> that ain't disrespectful. That was that's all kind of inappropriate. <laughs> that's the village I'm from. Uh, which this is nigga, man. Uh, did that. <laughs> I don't know, no nigga. Yeah, and we apologize to all of our African compadres who listen to the Yeah I Said It show. Hey. I love you too, That's my brother. Yeah, but I, I would want to go to see like what it's really like, man. Cause, but I don't want to, I don't want to go out there and be on no safari shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said touristy. Because I you know, that. shit happens. Yeah. And it happens to white people usually. Yeah. 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 I'm not white. Right. I don't want the shit to happen to me. Okay. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look. I know we're a little bit late, but this is a perfect segue into the lady who got attacked by the tiger. Uh, when she got out the car, the recent one. the lady who was at the, the at the one. at the wildlife reserve, and she got the car and walked around to the driver's side of the car, and then the tiger got her, yanked it. I didn't see that. Oh man, you gotta you see, see it. I, I'm gonna pull it up for you right here in a second, and then you'll look at it live. I don't know what's been going on. Though. Yeah. I've been oblivious to everything for about a week now. Right. I'm pulling it up, um, but what what was funny about this to me is that the guy got out the car and actually punched towards the tiger. I'm instinct. No bullshit is what that is. <laughs> let my wife go. Let, let me, listen. So I had a conversation with my wife. <laughs> you don't got nothing in your hands, so you ball up your fist. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told this to my wife. I said, baby, let's get a very clear understanding because I don't want you to have false expectations of me. If you get a spike, uh, you get attacked by a tiger, you just got attacked. <laughs> you don't know. tell you, it ain't nothing that I'm going to do. Wait a minute, that's a neighborhood. No, it's not. It's a safari. I thought it was the neighborhood. It's paved street so uh-huh. in regular cars. I thought it was watching. like at a stoplight. Keep watching. Holy oh, smoke. Yeah. Did you see the punch? He threw a punch. Wait a life. minute. The, the tiger took the lady? Yeah. <laughs> Gone. And then the other lady got out the car and chased oh, after the been tiger. Because I know damn well she can't do nothing with that tiger. I mean, like, okay, so here's the thing. What's your go-to oh, move against the tiger? What do you do? I see it now. I saw, okay, the, the lady gets out, walks around the car. The tiger runs up and, and hits the lady with a paw and then grabs her like around her midsection, like the pelvis or the side or something, and takes off. You know how strong you got to be to grab a, a a full grown person yeah. and just run off? Mm. Ran off on the plug twice. <laughs> Ran off with a plug. <laughs> Correct. So that's why that ghost punch at the tiger isn't worth a damn. 
ghost. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what do you do with a full grown tiger? Right. There is nothing. So I told my wife, I said, baby, you know, when well, you're not going to be there to be upset, but <laughs> let me just go ahead and let you know. There's <laughs> no sense in being mad. Okay. Ain't a sense in both of us dying. Yeah. Nobody and, can tell the story. I, Somebody right. got to be there for the kid. <laughs> and I told her, if you ever see me attacked by a tiger, don't just waste say your, your time. goodbyes. Don't waste your time. See, that's, that's not a good situation. Ain't nothing good going to come out of that. Not at all. Oh, not, not even all. a little bit. Yeah. Other than the story that everybody else can look at and say, that's what you don't do on a safari. Correct. And so here, here's how I brought it to her because she hadn't saw it, neither had my son. So I asked him a question. I said, the first question I asked him is, are you a genius? And he's like, no. I said, great. If you had to make two or three rules for a safari, what would they be? He said, rule number one would be, don't get out the car. That's rule number one. I said, of okay, course. wonderful. That's to be expected. Right. It's so rational human being. She broke rule number one. Yep. She got up. Genius ass out the car. I don't want to call her stupid because she's one on one with this safari tiger who's just been waiting on an opportunity to get a free meal out of yeah, your ass. Definitely. Yeah. And by the way, it was not a black person, which brings me back to my point. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't want shit to happen to me. Correct. Make sure you don't have no money around that time then. Huh? Make sure you don't have no money. Because if you got money, you're going to want to go on a safari. Bruh. If you got money, you go on to Africa, you gonna wanna no. go on the safari. No. I no. think I've already made my position clear on hey. the safari. Now y'all is for those who know me, and for those who don't know me, I'm an outdoors walk in the forest, hike a trail dude. It's gonna happen. I'm not going anywhere. See, this is the thing. I've I got a rule. <laughs> if I can't win, you can't come in. Okay. Right. That's my rule. So I feel like I gotta have a fighting chance okay. when I go anywhere like that. I'm not. I'm not gonna go out there and be like, you know what? Ah, I, I could die, but I might still have fun. No, like, yeah, no, right. uh, no, no. <laughs> that ain't the, that ain't the way it's going down. I feel you on that. Cause somebody told me they had a pet orangutan. I ain't going. No, nope. I can't win that fight. I ain't yeah, fucking with nothing, thing. no. Dogs and cats. And if a dog is too big, I ain't fucking with him either. Man, I've heard people talk about having a, a, a pet monkey. No. Nigga, no. What's wrong with that dog? Well, you you got to understand. You, huh? I say, you know what I want. Is that okay? You want a koala bear? Hell no. So that's not you okay. You retarded? <laughs> so that's not okay. You can have a sloth. What is that? Oh, oh, the shit. slowest animal in the world. You can outrun it. Okay. I can't outrun a koala bear? <laughs> I've never seen a koala bear run, but I don't know. I might have a fight. I don't want nothing with Baron in there. <laughs> <laughs> On the record. Right. Yeah, I mean, I always tell people, man, when I hear somebody saying something about having a pet monkey, man, you got to understand one thing. They have opposing thumbs. That means they have every option that you have for a choice of weaponry. Right. <laughs> you can hold the gun, they can hold the gun. Mm -hmm. You can twist the doorknob, they can twist the doorknob. Right. A dog can't do that. Yeah. You you can you can slam a door on a dog. And you're pretty much safe. Okay. Can't do that with a monkey, bro. Can't do that with a monkey, dog. If that monkey wants to get at you, ain't nothing you can do about <laughs> he it. Slam the door on the monkey and then all of a sudden you see the door twisted. Yeah. Door knob twisted. And he probably know how to use a key. Right. Yeah. What if the monkey got a key? Because he didn't watch you come home and put your keys up every time, you know? My dogs know where my keys are. Correct. Hmm. It's been every dog that I've had as an adult knows when I'm leaving. And they have the routine. They follow routine. Right. If I go put on, like when I had Lexus, my, my girl I had for so long, she knew she was going. R.I.P. Lexus. R.P. Alexis. <laughs> she knew she was going out at a certain time. We crate trained her because we were in an apartment at the time. So we crate trained her. In the morning, we get up, 
we put on our clothes, we grab the key, she goes and gets in the cage. You don't have to call her, you don't have to put her in there. This is routine. She hears us get our keys in the morning, she goes and gets in the cage. So the monkey, being that it's an actual ape and it has the mind of an, an advanced, more advanced thought process, mm-hmm. probably figure out how to use that key and how to get on your ass when you gonna lock yourself in a room and thinking that you safe. Right. So the the story is don't monkey around. Don't yeah. monkey around. <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't monkey yeah. around. I, yeah. I, I would say don't anything that's outside of a domesticated animal around. I that's ain't it. fucking with none of them. I ain't gonna do what it. What about riding the elephant? Well, riding know, the I, elephant. I did that, so yeah. That's why I say I'm thinking that you can do that. See, I let Trey. We went to the to, to the Universal Circus one year. We going next Trey, week. Trey rode an elephant, and I'm just like, I want him to have all the experiences that he can right. have. Correct. Me personally, <laughs> it never crossed my mind that I would right. actually go sit on that elephant. I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But it was never a thought that I'm gonna go get on right. that thing. I've never even age. rode horses. Oh, yeah. I've been in horses. Never rode a horse. Never rode a horse. Well, I, th- I think definitely you should ride a horse. The song <laughs> says, "Don't ride a horse, ride a cowboy." Huh? What? It's a song to uh, from women to men. Check it out sometime. Well, who sing it? Does it matter? It took me a while to find my crickets. Yeah, you late. Yeah. <laughs> So you, I, so you know you, what? So you I'm, you I'm not. I'm not completely opposed to riding horses. Mm-hmm. It just always crossed my mind that there's no steering wheel on this horse. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> as long as you got a saddle, you can ride it. I mean, you know how? Yeah, you can ride it. They'll show you how to ride it. Yeah, but that horse still has a mind of its own. Of course, I can't win. You can't win. Go in. <laughs> man, you can't get out of the game. All right, man. 601-641-9474. 601-641-9474. Yeah, call us up. Let us know what you think about the show, what you want us to talk about. Ask us a question or make a comment or any of that good stuff there. Okay, I have a question that was posed by my daughter a month ago, and she keeps reminding me to ask the question. Shout out so to I'm going to ask the question officially on the podcast. Shout out, Daddy Big Girl. Mm-hmm. Why did we start a podcast? I have an answer, but I let Humvee take it. Or, uh, or do you want me to take yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. My my idea before I figured out what a podcast was was to find a way to share with the world these in-depth conversations and all these creative points of views that we have in general conversation on a regular basis. Correct. And there it is. And there it is. There you go. You got it, big girl. Thus, yeah, I said it. Was born. I I never wanted to be on radio, so to speak, or being broadcasted. But I noticed that along with this music stuff that we were doing, we have a lot of conversations. And I find myself around smart people that like yeah. can take a, a a statement and and pretty much turn it inside out and give you a new perspective on it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and that's why we do the Yeah I Said It podcast. So hit us up at 601-641-9474. That's 601-641-YISI. And give us your POV. Right on, right on. Hey, can I pose this uh, question that you uh, sent to us? Or oh, shoot. Do you want to do it? No, it don't matter. Are kids appropriating gay culture in the way that they dress? Okay, cool. So this is what happened. Example, tight shirts, mm-hmm. tight jeans. Right. Yeah. Right. So I always hear people have the conversation about appropriating culture and what it is and what it's not. So when I look at kids and the way that they dress, I feel like they look like gay dudes. Mm-hmm. So I just had the thought of, are they appropriating gay culture? And thinking that it's stylish and fashionable because it's in style. It's the in thing to do. Like I was at the um the USA versus Nigeria game 
And this dude who had on these salmon pink, super tight shorts that were like mid thigh left. I was like, this shit got ridiculous. Mid thigh. Mid thigh salmon pink shorts. Right. Shorts. Yeah, it's nothing good was coming out of this. <laughs> oh Damn. no. No. Right. So But he wasn't gay? I don't know. But he was just Magnum PI. <laughs> so what you saying is 80s you, Miami. You, so what you saying, DJ, is you wouldn't wear it? I wouldn't wear none of the shit they wear. Okay. Like like joggers. Like all that shit is gay. The way I see it is this. <clears throat> In the mid to early two thousands, you couldn't find tight jeans in the men's section. So the first dudes who wore skinny jeans got pants out of the women's section. You would agree, correct? Right. What? what? Okay, look. We wore our <laughs> pants you know baggy. No. <laughs> right? Everybody pretty much wore, Like, you didn't have to wear them as big as some, but you wore your... Our pants were like loose fit, relaxed fit, boot okay. cut. Right. First. So when the first guy was wearing skinny jeans, they were women pants. Were they not? I don't know. I'm trying to find a way around saying yes, but no. I mean, I'm, I'm really just playing devil. I think it was like regular fit. Uh, I, I or, actually or agree all the way. Fit. No, no. Well, no. They had. They always had slim. Right. So but they weren't. I, they they didn't like have that, skinny. Though. Right. They didn't have. Skinny. But what if they just bought the wrong size and they like it possible i mean it's plausible because i remember a while back seeing because i i've seen well, to them it wouldn't have been the wrong size. i've seen people wearing skinny jeans before i knew they were called skinny jeans or maybe they weren't called skinny jeans at the time right. so i remember i spe- specifically remember seeing a this this white guy i don't know i hate saying stuff like that but it was a guy that was no, no, nah, bro. You wouldn't wear that. No, I wouldn't wear that. At all, DJ, ever. DJ, would you wear that? Not, Not even on Halloween. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy had on some skinny, they were skin tight, all black, and he was skateboarding, and he looked like he was on some goth slash punk stuff, you know, rocker type shit. Right. Which brings me to the thought, well, which brought me to the thought that that's what these rock stars did. So he fits into that category, just like I dress like a like a hip hop person. There's no way to say that shit and not sound hip hop person. Right. Weak as hell, like hip, you hip hop people. Hey, <laughs> hip hop is different now. <laughs> as like as far as fashion is concerned, it's different. Yeah, I mean it always has been. You know, Run DMC wore leather. Yeah. Where the hell I put my cup? Oh, okay. Look at that. Gotta find the cup. Shout out to Select Club Pecan Praline. Yes, this Pecan Praline. That is shit on is point. a mouthful to say, man. I won't be able to say it in a couple more sips. <laughs> but so, so what what I was saying was when I look at these kids and the way look that at they, these kids. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I've been listening to 97.9. You know they. You know what? Y'all have y'all? Do y'all watch Boondocks? Yes. I'm throwing shit way off, man. But black Go ahead. on the Pecan Praline Select yeah. Club. Mm-hmm. Do y'all remember the episode when Huey said he was going to watch nothing but BET for a week and, <laughs> yes, and I do. keep up with the effects yeah. that it had on him? And he was like talking all <laughs> slow and not finishing sentences and shit by the end of the week. <laughs> That's how I it. feel when I listen to 97.9 right now. That'll bro. do it to you. Well, hold on, 97.9? But they play the same song. So they what about 97.7? Or is it 97.3 or 93? What is it? 93.7. 93.7. Yeah. See, I feel I feel a little different about them because they tend to splash a few different things in there. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. I just listen to Boom 92 90% of the time that I'm listening to the radio. All right. And I don't listen to the radio yeah. unless I'm listening to 102. I listen to 90.9. So that's all I, listen to. I like the classic hip hop. Cause you can, you made this. So, they have so much range. Like you will still hear the same song three times, four times yeah. within a couple days period. But I, I'm, I'm just assuming that the a lot of playlist on ninety two boom. A lot of ludicrous. I don't hear a lot of ludicrous on there. 
a lot of move. Yeah. I've I've heard a couple, mm-hmm. but not. I couldn't count. <laughs> like like I I couldn't say I heard it four times. I know I haven't heard it that many times. Right. Now there was a point in time where they was giving a whole lot of a whole lot of Biggie. Oh. Which his catalog didn't span very well, so I got tired of that quick. <laughs> Big pop up. Just saying. Throw your hands in the air uh, if you're a true player. I, I didn't take the time out to set a preset for this Boom 92 classic hip hop just to hear Biggie. Okay, so what if you got a deal from who's left? It's like Epic. Uh, uh, Is anybody left? Epic, uh, Warner, Warner Brothers. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I know Rock Nation. And I know Diddy still got a label. Strange music, good music, good music. But TD. The, I know that's not those not big labels. I'm talking about the I'm big, just, the big label. The conglomerate. I mean, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Um, what's the Jimmy Iovine label? Does Jimmy Iovine have a label? I don't think Jimmy Iovine is with any label right now. I don't Interscope? think Jimmy Iovine is doing music. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, well, it was Interscope. Yeah, Interscope. So those labels. So what if they gave you a deal? And you know how they got all the um, the different teams. You got your, your your PR, your management team, and all. And then you got your fashion. Get in the mic. Oh, and then you got the fashion. The fashion. So what if they came to you and said, "Hey, put this on. I'm telling you, it's hot. This is what it. And it's it's tight. Not gonna be able to do it. And they gonna be like, "Come on, man. You gotta rock it. This is what it's about now." See, I'm I'm trying to be a little bit more open minded with with uh, I'm not <laughs> with the suggestions because I know I'm I, I know I'm suggestion. I know I'm stubborn. Okay. And I know I can immediately sure. go left when somebody says go right just because I want to make sure that I don't go right. Hmm. I have a tendency to do stuff like that, so I'm trying I'm trying to grow out of that. Now to say that I'm gonna change and dress. Like, I still got to be comfortable. If I'm not comfortable, it ain't going. And I could be in a silly mood, which I know I can't do that professionally because you can get stuck with that. Right. But I'd like to say that I would be open-minded for a compromise hmm. on some rap shit from these hip-hop guys. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, not so all the hell, nah. Nope. I ain't doing that's a compromise. <laughs> I think I'll be more open to that than the inverted way. All right. DJ, what was the question? Tight shirt, loose jeans, loose shirt, tight jeans. I ain't doing neither one of them. Not now, but hell no. <laughs> but you, the artist, you are the flagship nope. artist nope. of this label. We nope. need you if, to if make you a need statement. Me, you need my music. I got you. If I couldn't rap, not sing jeans, I wouldn't be here. You right, right. But we want you to influence. The I don't people. give a damn what you want. So no, you're under contract. I ain't under contract to dress. You're under you contract, me, DJ. Fuck you and this contract. Damn. Shout out to Ultra Club Select. Yeah. That, nigga Ultra cold, cold. <laughs> that nigga cold, ain't he? That nigga cold, ain't he? Cold. <laughs> All right, six you four one six four one nine four seven four. <laughs> never gave you niggas money. Six four one nine four seven four. Drop us a line, voicemails about what's really going on. Know what I'm saying? With you. Talking about? Yeah, let's get into this music, man. Yeah, I said it. Podcast. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, hit us up at yeah uh, yisishow dot com. Yep, yep. That'll take you to the to the uh, main site where you can listen to all of the episodes, even the bad ones, and you can share, we'll like, have any bad comments. Ones. Some of them didn't sound great. We had plenty of great shows, but you know, yeah, we had some construction under construction errors for sure. <laughs> okay, um, I did say let's jump into this music, so I didn't get a chance to listen to everything, but what I did listen to, mm-hmm. I liked. Yeah, some good music out right now. It really man. is some good music going on out there. Everybody ain't fucking up. Yeah. 
everybody's not Lil Yachty, aka. Lil so Bo. who did you listen to? What? AKA Lil You Suck, aka you can't <laughs> rap, aka drop your mic. AKA Where don't pick it back at? up. Where the gunshots? Man, I don't have them. Wait a minute. I got yeah, a I said it. <laughs> doop, doop. <laughs> Shit. Okay, what I did listen to. Yeah, listen to game. Yeah. Okay. That's about as right I get. But Doom Chain. <laughs> Let's start right there. Let's Shout start with the game. Shout out to the Shoot the Show. <laughs> uh, Block Wars. Let's start. Block right Wars. There. I mean, game did game. He going to talk that talk. I like the, game. This is something I've noticed about game. Only you only notice if you're a true hip hop head. He'll use certain phrases from different rappers and then flip it. Right. Like he constantly does this. After he listening does. to him do it a couple times on Black Wars, I went back to the documentary and I was listening to it and I noticed that he does that. And I think I don't even think it's um to try to get over. I think it's kind of like a an homage or it's, it's a it's a shout out to to true hip hop heads right so see like with the game with me I just hate the fact that he always talked about Dr. Dre said this and do this and I did this and Buster Brom said this and I did this and that's, like, like, that's how game sounds to you Yes, yeah, that like, is that's, yes. Like, <laughs> like, that's how you sounds stop to too. Right, doing right, that right. can you just give me some bars like he used to. Like I fell a, out with Dre because he gave me advice and I didn't take it. Well, see, it. that's different though. But when he when he said that's what he said though. But when he says like, Dr. Dre said get him, so I'ma get him. And Busta Rhymes said he thought I didn't do it, but I didn't do this it. This nigga's like, game <laughs> impression. <laughs> Talk about it. like come this on, game, game impression is killing me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the documentary 2.5. There was a 2.0, and then he came out with 2.5. 2.0 was kind of weak. But when he came out with the 2.5, that's the one that I rock with. That was so L.A., so West Coast right there. Um, the Block Wars, I didn't get a chance to listen to. Um, but I will, since DJ said it. What about you? Did you get a chance to listen to Block Wars? Man, I listen to everything, man. I what? Was, uh, you listen to everything? I was sitting out there, man. I listened to Block Wars. I listened to... Uh, What's your take on it? It's it's classic game, dog. Game has okay. always done good music, man. Everything that he's done that I've listened to, yeah. I've liked. I haven't found flaw with. Right. Okay. Even without fifty around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Doom Team. I didn't like him with fifty. <laughs> I like him by himself. I like him with him. I like him by himself. I keep, I keep turning my head back and forth. I, it's the liquor. Yeah. Oh, let me show everybody on this uh live joint. Badoom chink. Yeah, show them what we cover by. We done just straight up jacked the Badoom chink, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even, we don't need this. DJ, sound. what's the, what's the uh, next album that you uh, listen to? Logic. The mixtape one. The um, Tarantino. Yeah, Bobby Tarantino. Yeah, that that was hot. I'm listening to it now. It was a good album. What, what you yeah, think about it? Man. Uh, See, he finna. Logic is just better than motherfuckers. Oh. He better than motherfuckers. Like it's simple as that. Okay. Like Logic can do what you're doing, how you're doing it, right. better than you can do that shit. Wow. So you yeah, shooting a really. slug at J Cole? Hey, who who? Oh. Hey, shoot fit, motherfucker. <laughs> where? And I love J Cole. Oh yeah, I'm a definitely. huge Cole fan. Definitely. But Logic can do what you're doing. Yes. Better than you doing it. Yes, he can. I like it. Logic, man. When I was listening to Logic, I I actually had the thought in my mind as I listened to his album, and I was like. This is the proof that hip hop isn't dead. Like everybody right. that's new coming out doesn't sound like trash, man. You can't right. if you if you hear stuff like Logic, because I, I can't bring in the game because game is he's been around too long. If you hear stuff like Logic and there's other cats out there that's good that sound like that, mm -hmm. you have to come to the realization that if you haven't heard any good hip hop lately, you you really weren't looking for. Right, it's looking probably for your it. fault. It's your fault. Logic is fire. I've been following him since. I don't know. I guess about two two albums ago. What was the name of the album? Uh, Bobby Bobby Tarantino. Bobby. That was the mixtape. Bobby Tarantino. Bobby yeah. Tarantino. What the hell, Parker? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Parker, you can't call on the phone. <laughs> you should answer the phone and just say, "Go ahead, put him on blast." On the uh, the show. <laughs> I see he's watching the live joint on Facebook. Fuck ass gonna call 
<laughs> now the Bobby Tarantino album from start hey, you to know finish what? was fire. Parker call back, man. I'm gonna put you on the uh I'm gonna put you on speakerphone so you yeah. can go ahead. Come on, let's do it. So big up to uh Logic. That was a great album. That was an awesome, awesome mixtape. So, yeah, I, I thought it was super yeah. dope. Mm-hmm. I thought he did his thing. I thought he brought it the way that he brings it and and I love it. That was my favorite album out of the ones that I was able to listen to. I thought Block Wars was really solid. I thought Game was being Game. Right. I thought he he did the new school stuff a little bit, just, a, just on a couple of songs. Yeah. And I'm not even I'm not even saying that Logic is the greatest, or I think Logic is in that whatever. But I think he's really dope. I think he can rap his ass off. I think conceptually he comes with it. He's not st- he's not afraid to step outside of the box, and that's that hip hop shit I love. Definitely. Oh shit. Definitely. Snoop Dogg, Kool Aid. Slide off in your DM. Slide off in your. Come shout it, John Doe down there. That's what it sounds like, huh? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh man, hey. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys. Out, I'm glad you guys out there in, uh, on uh, Facebook. Got to see that. What? Damn. <laughs> Sid, the Todd, DJ Confused. I hope y'all got to see that. <laughs> Snoop Dogg dropped another classic album to me. I, you know, Snoop Dogg is my favorite rapper, hands down. He's my favorite artist, hands down. I mess with Snoop all the time. Every album he dropped from the bush. That was a good album. You could just play Question. family functions and all that stuff. Did you like the God? I mean, the uh, Dog Father album? Dang, that was what from what ninety seven something like that. I like that one song when he had his uncle on there dancing in the video in the jail. But I don't remember that. Dog I like Father. Snoop. I don't like the Dog Father. Oh, my toy is Super Crib. Super <laughs> Crib. <laughs> well, that's one that's album out of how many yeah. albums he had. Like 10 I don't albums? know, man. I didn't have all of them. I know yeah. the blue. What was a blue, blue red, blue, blue carpet, blue carpet treatment. That, that was, was hot. That, that was, was hot. Fire. That yeah. was a fire album. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I thought uh, I only listened to a little bit of it, but what I heard, I did like, and I thought it was cool. I thought Snoop does what he does. He come on the track. He gonna freestyle on some song. Right. Yeah. I some said song. It. He gonna actually rap. He had some but, writers on him. Yeah. He, he I mean, I thought yeah, was I mean, Snoop said before that he, he used writers yeah. in order to give that, people a chance yeah. to get exposure in the game, that which is cool. The Top Dog album, I think, was like all not his. The who? The, the Top Dog album. Hey, Confused say the Bush Bush is highly underrated. Yeah, it was, it was a good album. I, I yeah. actually hadn't listened to Bush. I, I, I think I turned it on and then something came up. Like and you have a family function, just put on the Bush and let it. Play from oh, the family family. function? That nigga said family, family function. function. Put, put on the bush. The bush. On. Put the bush on. Maybe like one song you might be like, oh. but other than that, that the album ride. Alright, cool. Yeah. Uh, what's next? Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q. Blank, Blank face. face. That's the one I didn't listen to, so I I, I don't I have enough information album. to give. A valid Blank opinion. Face was an awesome album from start to finish. Uh, he. Uh, from the videos that he dropped along with the singles, uh, he told like a story. And um, uh, what's the track? What's the I didn't track? see any of the videos, so I don't know. Did you even listen to the album? Did you listen to it? I li- oh yeah, I, li- I listen to, uh, I like Schoolboy Q, cause Schoolboy Q take you back to the mid 90s West Coast gangster shit. Yeah. And right. I was I was like, I'm always taken back. I mean, YG does that with the with his with the uh, with the beats though. YG sounds he sounds Bay Area specific to me. Hmm. Bay yeah. Area specific. I agree one hundred percent. He definitely sounds that way. But now his his flow and what his what his his rap game, I I like. Hmm. I can dig it, but I I'm not that heavy on Bay Area sounding tracks. Like I I don't need to hear that over and over. I mean, you do your thing. It ain't for me. <laughs> yeah. Tookie, Tookie knows too. That one with uh, two of his friends, Traffic and somebody else. Uh, I didn't like the big body one, the one with Dog Pound on it. I don't, when you get a chance, you'll hear it. You'll be like, ah, that ain't really like a Dog Pound track, but he just did it for the West Coast. Um, 
blank face from the videos to the to the to the lyrics. He he broke it down, man. Thumbs up. Hey man, the thing about blank face, the thing well, the thing about Schoolboy Q, you gotta know what you're getting with Schoolboy Q. It's gonna be a creative, dark sound. It's gonna have some um a real lot of hood perspective. But it's good, it's good hoods. It ain't like a bunch of tough talk for nothing. Right. It's intelligent hood talk. And that's and, but it's gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be about gang banging and coming up and some it's but it's intricate. So if you don't like schoolboy, I understand you don't like his sound, but the dude is nice with what he does. Like he puts together a project that doesn't sound like anybody else's. <laughs> and he's I mean I like schoolboy. I can bang schoolboy. I just won't play him with my kids in the car. Yeah, just don't say it like that. Don't, don't, don't. But you ain't gonna bang. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> no homo. No. Yeah, all that jazz. No homo. What about um, Gucci Man? Y'all get a chance to listen. To Gucci? Didn't listen to Gucci Man. Not mad that I didn't listen to Gucci Man. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you listen to Gucci Man? Because he Gucci Man. I, mean, I just don't it's listen. It's new Gucci. Listen, no, it's certain things that I'm skinny Gucci. Turned, it's certain things I'm turned off to. Right, Gucci Man is one of those things. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing he got to say. Nothing. I can listen to him talk if he speaks intelligently. Mm-hmm. I listen to him. So what are you wearing today, Gucci? Um, I'm wearing the new Cartier lenses and for such a joke. No, no. Y'all ain't see like when Gucci first got out. And he was like standing around in his house, and he and his girlfriend kept asking him questions like, "What what are you wearing today?" And he was like, "Oh, I, I kept the jewelry light, and he got like a billion dollars worth of jewelry on." Oh, Lord. And he's nah, I didn't watch it because it was Gucci. Okay, yeah, it feel, make me feel like I'm playing myself right now. Like, nah, you good? I'm the only one know that Gucci Whatever, did some Gucci. stupid shit. He did some Gucci shit. It ain't even and stupid, when everybody was saying Gucci. he was he was a clone, Gucci Poochie. <laughs> this nigga said Gucci Poochie. You just violated two man laws. <laughs> <laughs> man code. Oh, man. Let's fuck with that select club. Yeah, That's what I said it, podcast, man. <laughs> Y-I-S-I-show.com. Yeah. You call, leave us a, 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 a voicemail, and we'll put you on the next show, answer your questions and your comments and all of that. 601-641-9474 on them haters. Hey, can yeah. you ask them, since you live, ask them... Uh, this is R and B for DJ. Who sung? Let's chill, let's chill, let's settle down. That's what I wanna do. Don't look, it up. Don't, look it, up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. And he said, "No, hold on. DJ said Tony Terry." I no, said, I, and that, ain't, that ain't Tony Terry. That's, That's why I told him. I told, listen, him, I told him it was well, guy. Right. And I so said what it was I, guy. What I said let's was, let's chill. And what, right. So who that, sung the that, song? That, let's chill. That's guy. Well, I got oh, so now it's guy. Right. What happened was I told him that I told guy. Okay. I named the wrong song. I meant to say <laughs> when I'm with you, and that's Tony Terry. Boo. Is that not when what I said? When I'm with you, I feel so free. I feel that love. Yeah. I don't know. The Going record. to take control. Hey. You say goddamn it. lyrics, man. Come I don't on, know. Man. Mad. It was bullshit. guy. No, Let's chill. no. What happened was I was naming the song, and I named the wrong. Song Give me that forty-one dollars. We talking about trip. the fact that Keith Sweat wrote the song. They on the R and B stuff again. So, I'm left out. Hey, look, and when you're on R and B, check out the new Fonte. Fonte oh, from yeah. Little Brother just yes. dropped the new R and B joint. Real good. Hey, man. Real Fonte good. doing his thing, Real man. Real good. I did dude not know he could dude. sing. Hey, hey, man, that dude is talented. He's God-gifted. <laughs> He's real good. <laughs> ah, Damn. Blank face. <laughs> nah, leave me blank face on this black house, man. <laughs> That ain't on the podcast, in. man. That's just that's just for the live watchers. They, they didn't hear me. I got away from the mic before I said that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. I wasn't on the mic when I said that. Hey, it don't matter. It's all good. We can tell them. I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. Did you see Joe Button running after them kids? 
Yeah, he should have <laughs> kicked them kids' them ass, man. Fuck them kids. Did you hey. see the memes, man? <laughs> that nigga Joe Button ran up on them kids. Were they kids? They were like teenagers. Nah. So they was, yeah. They, they was I young. don't know, but that nigga Joe Button ran up on them with, with some rocks. rocks in his hand. With them rocks. Oh, my goodness, Joe, man. Joey had on a, a ripped up tank top <laughs> like he just got out of a fight. <laughs> Ran up on some people with some rocks in his hand. Yeah. Oh man. That nigga was upset. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> this is how I feel about the situation. When kids come on your property, that's when what happened when social media becomes your real life. Mm-hmm. Them kids would have got fucked up that they came on my property. Definitely. I'm just saying. He chased them down. Intense. Like, like I would have used them rocks. I wouldn't have yeah, hit no. I'd have been throwing the, the, the rocks. Right through the top of that sun. He had that little Toyota moving though, didn't he? Yeah. He had yeah. <laughs> yeah, that camera moving. Yeah. Like, hey, man, man, that nigga in a Tracel? I ain't know they still made <laughs> that. Where this God. nigga Joe Budden get a Tracel from? <laughs> <laughs> Toyota Tracel. Right. You ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't put a on care of jumping out of Toyota Tracel, man. I love Joe Buttons, man. Yeah. I, I think the nigga got a little more cash. He ain't got to drive a Toyota Tracel, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you ain't shit. You oh ain't man, shit. what? I'm lost on his uh diss albums. What? Shout what? out to Joe. I mean, not diss album. The, the diss tracks. What? What track? I mean, what song has he put out? Like afraid, not afraid. Yeah, uh, he put out something. That was his afraid. last one. I right? lost count, man. Yeah, cause he put out so many. Like, what's going on? I mean, it's what he does, though. He is obsessive. Joe has has what you call uh, um, an addictive personality. That's what it is. So when he gets on something, he stays on whatever he's on. Right. Okay, when, I can when, go with you on that. When, when he was dissing Ransom, that's what he was on. Mm-hmm. When he was dissing Game, that's what he was on. I when he was slo- shooting subliminals at Jay, that's what he was on. Mm-hmm. He on Drake ass right now, and he gonna be on it till he feels like he's he had needs enough. to get off. Hmm. That's it. No homo. Right. And you ain't got to like it, but that's what the fuck he do. He got a track record of it. Mood music. Yeah. And he can spit bars with the best of them. And look, and okay, so we can go with that. <laughs> Last hot song was Pump It Up. That's fine. But he got bars for days. Pump, pump, pump it up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's what. Fuck Drake. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah. Hey, he broke it. Hey, um. So we did, we we, we said Schoolboy Q right. album was straight. It's nice. It's yeah. hardcore, West Coast gangster shit. Snoop. Uh, Snoop shit is tight. Yeah. Snoop got a couple songs on there that make you say, nigga, where was your homeboys at when you got this, <laughs> got this track? He got about three of them. Two or three of them that I was like, man, I, I don't know, dog. I don't know. I'd like to think that y'all wouldn't let me. God shit. damn, Select Club. God damn it, man. Blame it on the Select Club. Man. I feel like pour another club? drink, man. I keep yeah, I need to pour, let's pour up another drink because I'm empty over here. Select Club, man. Your Select Club. <laughs> yeah. Select Club. But um, and shit, then what the, was I the other album, the, that was the Snoop album. Mm-hmm. Then we had the um Game Block Wars album. Mm-hmm. Very solid game album. Game being game, doing what he does, talking that talk, name dropping people as well as name dropping himself. And then there was the my favorite album out the bunch, Logic, Bobby Tarantino. Yeah, okay. Bobby Tarantino was hard. He and he said and and that that was the thing that caught me was he said a line on the song, and and the line on the song was, uh, this this. This project is for the party. The next project is for the soul. Yeah. So that let me know why he did what he did. Because his first album right. didn't sound like that. Correct. So that let me know why he rapped like that and did those type of songs. And then he still threw some some shit in there to let you know that it was, he yeah, was still I can serious. do this. Which is why I said he can do what other rappers do better than what they do it. Because he can he can bring it. Even in a party environment, he can lighten lighten it up enough yeah. to let you know I can have a good time, but also give you some gems or some jewels like in there strategically. So, big shout out to Logic. There it is. We Chill. did that. It was we, another album. We, 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 what about Wale? The, did, you, did you get a chance did to listen Wale to Wale? Drop an album, it was a mixtape. 
Okay, why they dropping well, mixtapes? My name is Wild Lake. Know about it, and I'm gonna sip another one of these things. Oh, I think I took it off. I had it on. Oh man, I didn't like it too much. Five oh five. I didn't hear it. I'm about the yeah, sunset strip. My, my boy, like my boy Doobie's on here, man, on this old Facebook Live. He sent me a live track, man. And I ain't never get the track back, dog. Uh oh. <laughs> Hit me up, man. I'm still in the West. Oh yeah. Shout out to my boy T Cal. You know what it is. This is how we do, man. This is yeah, I said it podcast, man. It's us. You know, Ill Ran, DJ to DJ, and Humvee, and a bottle of some fine whiskey. Yeah. And a bunch of talk. Yeah. For, for those who don't know. Talking that. I'm doing a commentary, man, for everybody that's listening to the podcast right now because I, I'm on Facebook Live, man. So y'all can check that out. Ill Ran, Ill Ran Nights on Facebook. Uh, I don't do the Periscope. This nigga does. Yeah, I did it that one time, and that was, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> it was too and he got regrets <laughs> regrets on periscope i think we need to get on snapchat or something man snapchat me that yeah we can snapchat that thing facetime me that what now what do you think about the um all the houston artists most of the houston artists uh putting their money in the, the black banks well first first i feel like this anytime you can get a group of people to agree on anything mm-hmm. and it's positive i'm cool with it I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about what it is they do or why they do it. I think it's cool. So if they got together for a back to school drive, I, I support that 100%. Definitely. If they got together and put all their money in a quote unquote white bank, if they're getting people to do something positive and moving the, the needle forward, I'm cool with it. Right. So the fact that it was a black bank and they trying to push that agenda, and I did see certain people who were not uh, uh, of African American descent, mm-hmm there too i think it's cool i don't think nothing wrong with it so i mean would you put your money in it? i mean i put my my money in any legal institution definitely that was going you know instead of the match but you weren't you weren't with the idea of let's make a point with our community and put our money with each other no I, i'm cool with that i'm but cool you didn't with that. you didn't think that you should yeah and i and i and i and i will I actually was supposed to meet up with one of our coworkers, Debo, recently to go, but I had to go and pick up my family. So that was out of the way. Will you do it? Uh, you know what I'm talking excuses. about? Will you do it, Ilran? No, I mean, I had to pick up family from the airport. That's not an excuse. Yeah, but the bank is still there. No, but I'm saying I was supposed to meet up with him and do it. We were all. Do it when he's not there. Correct. And that's why I said I will. You I was wait naming, for him to go. The instance in which <laughs> Why I you didn't to find do it. <laughs> oh no, he's not gonna box me in. That shit ain't gonna work. Oh man, I don't, I don't know, DJ. I don't know. I'm starting to see like you was like, you know, I was gonna go, but what had happened? Nah, what nah. had happened? I'm I definitely had to go not to the airport, nah. and then a house caught on fire, and then we jumped on the mothership. Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm definitely not on that shit. I'm going to go, but I'm naming the instance when I was going to go, and. Due to right. unforeseen circumstances, I didn't go at that particular time, but I will go before our next podcast. That's my word. I said it right here on the Yeah, I Said It show. I will be going to Unity Bank right off of Blodgett, and I will be joining, and I'll come back and i give everybody my account number so all y'all can donate $100 each to the HBO Foundation. That's the help of brother out. Fucking Mike talking and shit. <laughs> Hey, we <laughs> fuck you, homie. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> hey, I just seen it and I was looking. I was like, "Damn, you cannot see." <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to see me. Oh man, we gonna get you a spotlight. Right. I don't want no spotlight. It's gonna be a white sheet. <laughs> no, we don't want no white sheet. This is a podcast. This ain't supposed to be live. Then after you get. <laughs> Oh my goodness! We no, have to, yeah, but definitely I. Now, the thing that I'm kind of well, not I'm not even eerie about putting my money in a bank, but I just want to know what do they offer like home? No, 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 no. That's not no. 
What? No. I think it's a the, bank. They right. No banking. I'm saying, what, what, I understand. Okay, that, so what financial institution do you have your money in now? Credit union. That's it? Yeah. What do they offer? Well, I mean, you know, I got Bank of America, too. Okay, what do they offer? Exactly. So don't expect more of your people than you expect of yourself and or others. Don't tell Thank them you. to walk a razor blade line and you're going to walk a chalkboard line. No, I don't, what, what do you mean by that? No, I'm saying like. So you're saying I was implying something? No, I'm saying when, no, 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 no. Don't come with the bullshit. When you was going to put your money in a black institution, yeah, a black financial institution, right? You wanted to know what they offered. Right. You have your money in two white financial institutions, and you can't tell me what they offer. I can't. We tell call you what that where I'm from bullshit. No, I I can tell you. What okay, they what offer. do they offer? No, because you was stopping. No, 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 no. You no. stopped me. You okay, like, so okay, see, I'm a pause. They offer the same thing. What do they offer? Home loan, bank loan. All financial institutions all the loan, for that. All the same shit. So that, all no, financial I, institutions. I was just making that. sure that I was wondering if they offered the same thing. Can, can, That's can all. you tell me what kind of uh, ROI you get with having your money in Bank of America or the uh, credit union? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, give me a second. I'm finna try to. I'm finna try to mark uh, uh, Mike up Parker, man. He was trying to call into the show. Yeah, I ain't never done no live. So, give me. So, what's the ROI? Return on investment. Okay. Did you really just say that? Yeah. 2016. I did. How old are you, sir? <laughs> Shit. Okay, Don't answer okay. that. Give okay. me right, fellas, baby. Fellas, right. fellas, fellas. Yo, Parker. Yo. Oh, I hear him. I can hear him. What up, man? You 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 on the show? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get you in there. All right, man. Hey. First of all, you all talking about schoolboy Q? Yeah. Hey man, he's a failure to me, man. Wow. I mean, he, he's a joke. He's Good a boy joke. Q a joke, man. Good boy Q a joke. Wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's like, I don't know what he is, a hippie or what, but he's not spitting nothing of substance and significance for the West Coast, man. Wow. Real talk. Wow, dog. Really, Park? Yeah, man. I gotta be real, man. Hold back no punches. Hey man, look. I mean, well, it's I, like now. a one man ship over there, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Of course, your opinion means a lot to me. That's why we talk so much. But I think there's a lot of people out there that have a lack of substance. And Schoolboy Q, his his perspective of it all is enough to say. I mean, I think you, I think you put trying to put them in a category with Kendrick Lamar because they together in the same uh, uh, label, Damn, right? Yeah. I don't think he's spitting a bunch of foolishness, mindless foolishness. Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying that he's supposed to be the uh, Robin. You know, K. Dot Kendrick Lamar, he's the Batman. Uh, Schoolboy Q's supposed to be the Robin. To me, he's not even a Robin, man. I mean, that's a one man ship over there, man. It's got one superhero on TDE, and that's Kendrick Lamar. I mean,. Schoolboy Q, I mean, the first album, you know, Ty had a studio on there and everything. You know, got a little Grammy nomination, I think, but this album here, failure, man. We'll talk. That's my opinion, though. Oh, man. What about the other ones? Have you listened to the other albums that we talked about? The uh, Logic, uh, Logic, Bobby Tarantino, and the, the Snoop Dogg. <laughs> now, the Logic, man, I didn't heard a couple of songs on uh, YouTube like a year or so ago i mean he's like a he's like an underground backpacker lyrical spitter i mean i mean you know he got lyrics but we come to the album i guess the album they just dropped i haven't heard it but i mean he, he got something to spit i mean he's definitely spitting you know he's a spitter uh the uh snoop i haven't heard of snoop i got got to hear it you know i mean snoop to me i mean <laughs> I hope he's dropping that Snoop line foolishness and just going back to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, real talk, man. I mean, I, I guess he just smoked too much weed and you just think that, <laughs> man. He's just a, he's like Bob Marley in the, you know, 2016, 15 or something, man. But hey, yo, can Parker hear me? Snoop. Nah, hold up. Hey, yo, Parker, can you hear me? 
Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. All right, look, check this out. Do yourself a favor. Listen to Logic's last two albums, Bobby Tarantino. Okay. And what was the one before Bobby Tarantino? Uh, Jeez, it was something about some far out space shit. Yeah, I got it. Let, let me look it up one second. But do yourself a favor. Listen to the last two Logic albums. And then mm-hmm. call back into the show. Leave a, uh, a voicemail. Call 601 601- Six four okay, one. Hold, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Yeah. All right. right the incredible true story. Yeah, that's it. But he was talking, yeah, because he started off getting on a spaceship. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, this is. I like. I mean, I like dude, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool boy. yeah. Ran. Oh, what you say, bro? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So call in to 601-641-641. Nine four seven four. After you listen okay. to the last two Logic albums and drop your official review, and we'll play it on the next show. Okay, I got you. I got for you. sure. I got yeah, you. Man. Hey, hey, yo, man. One more thing though. One, one more thing though. Before, before I jump off, man. Y'all talking about that R and B? Talk about God and this and that, man. <laughs> R&B is dead, man. What? Sadly, what? R&B is dead. So, so that man in the studio sitting next to you, Iran, need to drop an R&B album. So R&B, oh. Oh. Life, man. <laughs> R&B is dead, man. You know, I mean, it died with with Trey Songz. I think Trey Songz second or third album. After that, I haven't heard of another R&B album. Man, uh, Babyface just had an R&B album. Who that? Babyface. Baby face. Man, I'm talking oh but I'm talking about just that real no, R and B like this that. was it. One twelve Joe to see that. Call that, ain't, that just ain't. real R and B man. I'm talking about that tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about the Chris hey. Brown dancing on an auto tune type R and B. I'm not talking about that, man. Oh, just man. some real just wear your suit and just spit a spit a nice little verse for the ladies type R and B, man. Hey man, y'all be on this art. <laughs> hey, <laughs> all right, Parker. yeah, I said it. Hip hop podcast, shit. <laughs> hey, Park, man, we gonna get back with you, man. Make sure you you get your official review, man, and call in to the hotline, man, and we can put you on the next show, man. We get ready to wrap up in a hot second, dog. Shit. Oh, no doubt, no doubt, man. I got you. For sure. All right, holla. Now for everybody out there in podcast land. That was our guy Park calling in, giving his hot take, and we decided to do something new, put him in live, in living color, right here on the show. So, yeah. here, if you want that opportunity, get cool, get close enough for one of the guys, maybe we'll put you on <laughs> if you're going to have a hot take. Man. man. QT, no. Schoolboy Q, come on, man. I mean, I definitely disagree with that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not. Schoolboy Q does his thing. I, I like him because I feel as though he's comfortable in his own skin. Right. I'm big on authenticity, like you you being who it is that you want to be and or represent. You don't have to be yourself because you, you you're an artist. You don't have to be yourself. You can be. You can't have a, a a persona, and and that's cool. And I feel like he's found his niche, and he's doing his thing. So shout out to Q, Schoolboy Q. I fuck with Schoolboy Q. Y'all didn't listen to it? What what that is? I started to, man, the DJ Major Khaled joint. Key. I started to listen to DJ Khaled joint, man, and I, I I opted to pass. It's just something about it. Like, it just doesn't bring me. I got the key, the key, the key. See, I had to listen to it, uh, I think, like two or three times before I got all. Because he started putting it's so many different artists he put together. And I'm like, man, do that sound good? Do that sound? So I had to listen to it a couple times. The, the song with Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown, I didn't like. We we can officially review it on the next show, though. Okay, definitely. So what, what are we going to review? Major Key. DJ the, the, the album? The album, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. with that. Let's see, man. We about a minute out of ending up this thing, dog. Right, man. Uh, <sighs> we can rap. Yeah. yeah, man, you know what it is, man. This is Yeah, I Said It podcast, man. Y-I-S-I-Show.com. Yep. Y-I-S-I-Show.com. 601-641-9474.
Uh, you can catch me on uh, Snapchat, Ooh. Instagram, Twitter. G Thang Rec. Thang Rec. G T H A N G R E C. G Thang Rec. Yeah. And I'm on there too, man. Ill underscore ran underscore is, is underscore back, back on Twitter. <laughs> Ill ran on IG. And uh, yeah, I said it underscore pod on, on Twitter for the rest of the, the uh, know what I'm saying. DJ? I mean, you can always send an email in at yeah, I said it pod at gmail.com. And you already know how I go with me. Don't find me. I'll I find, find you. you. Yeah. You are listening to the Yeah, I Said It podcast. Have something you want to say? Drop us a line at 601-641-9474.